Hey friends, Wayne over here at the Ram Man Inc. Don't forget the ink. I need to get the ammo trailer back over to the house, but there you there, that's that one of them hybrid Axle Tech 4500s IFS. There's five ton axle. There's an Axle Tech 4000. That's running those straight gear planetaries. Those Meritors right there, they're the ones that run the bevel gears, right? Like Volvo patented in the 60s. That's those high speed ones. This one runs those straight ones. Here's a rear Rockwell five ton front back back. See that right there? That's like a final drive for a tank or track vehicle. Anyway, the gist of this is. I've uh, I know a, a teeny weeny bit about heavy duty axles and planetaries and shit. Yeah. Yeah, I do. God bless you. God bless America. And happy trucking. Hey friends, Wayne over here at the Ram Man Inc. Don't forget the ink. So, I want to talk to you about planetary assemblies. So, what are planetary assemblies? Basically, planetary assemblies are used everywhere. But they really started coming into their own in the 50s with different manufacturers and drive axles for bigger trucks. Uh little brochure from the 60s and 70s. This is an, an Eaton. Eaton's talking about the strength of the axles. They ended up putting a planetary assembly inside the, the ring gear itself. Super, super smart. But basically, because you do the reduction at the wheel ends, that's what takes most of all the load. So if you're running planetary wheel ends, everything upstream can be a lot lighter, simpler, and cheaper to make. That's the bottom line. Here's some bevel style hub reduction. Uh, this works off the same wheel bevel gears, spider gears, just like a rear end. Talk about having a two to one reduction. Volvo got the patent on this right here. These these are high speed planetaries. These are like what you see on a couple of military axles because of the cut. They run fairly smooth and they run cool. And basically these are the helicals are the only type that can be run basically on the on the highway from time to time when you think about planetaries in general you think about forklifts and things like that and so uh big buggies and uh like regular old planetary with these straight cut gears these are not these are not typically high speed assemblies they're they're not made for running down the fucking autobahn at 120 that's not what they're for they're for carrying a big old load. But those spiral gears and the bevel gears, they can be run at high speed because they got them on military trucks. So they're just not doing that all the time. So what if, see, here's the other thing about planetaries. If you've got the hub reduction on the end, that means that the center chunk can be a whole lot smaller. Key and mud boggers and rock bouncers. That means that the center chunk can be a lot smaller. That also means that inherently it's a lot stronger. And like I say all the time, when it comes right down to it, 
a Ford 9 inch is a lot stronger than a Dana 60. They both got a lot of parts for them. They both got cheap parts, but that Ford's running a third gear, a third bearing on that planetary. Now, here's the thing I want you to think about it. This is one of the reasons people's running Dana 60s, running Dana 70s. Now everybody's all crazy talking about building Dana 80s and all that shit. Well, here's the deal. If you got a low gear ratio, which you need to swing them tires, all those teeth on that ring, ring gear they get smaller. So the teeth ain't as big. When you run in a 513 gear, some of you have never thought about this. When you're running a 513 gear set, you got an awful lot of teeth on that ring gear. Yeah, it's the same size. It's nine inches or nine and three quarter. But whether you stick 54 teeth on there or 30 teeth, or 20 teeth, you got 20 teeth on there, you got you a real strong uh, ring gear, super strong. So you can get it, you can get a 2.5 for a four nine inch. Well, 2.5 multiplied on a three to one planetary, well, what does that get you? Shit. That gets you right in the lane that you need to be in. That gets you the lightest, strongest axle basically made. And like I said, the parts are dirt cheap. You can find them everywhere for either one, four nine inch or the Dana 60. I want you to think about, think about having planetaries on the end of a Dana 60. Let me repeat this. Think about having some bolt-on planetaries on the end of a Dana 60. Just think about that shit. I mean, you got people out there shaving the bottoms of the pumpkin, spending two or three hundred dollars to shave off three quarters of an inch underneath on a 60 or, or, or 14 bolt. I mean, that's crazy shit. Now remember, for a 9 inch and the 14 bolts only axles out there has got that third bearing. Only one. So what do we have here in front of us, friends? Basically, we have us a Dana 60 wheel in. Got us a two and a, a quarter bearing, two inch goes up here, right? And here's typically us a hub. So this is a factory setup. So normally we put down our hub, we tighten it on down and get our preload slide our axle in and bolt it up. But what if we didn't do that? What if we... What's a planetary assembly got to have? Got to have ring gear, a fixed ring gear. Planetary setup. Along with the drive plate. So, we can have fix our threading device right here and we've got our 60 shaft coming through coming through just like that there we go set our preload and the hubs on and the ring gears fixed tighten her down set everything Drop in the planet assembly along with the drive flange. There you go, my friends. You've basically put a set of planetaries on the end of a Dana 60. Can you envision that? So, that's all you're putting on. Of course, these would be like 8 inch tubes. So, put this stuff on. I haven't machined this out yet. So, all you have to do is put that stuff on.
slide the cap assembly down, tighten it on down, attach the dry flange bolts, voila! Universal planetaries that will bolt up on eight lug. Now that is some badass shit. Anybody that thinks that that's not super badass, well, better not say that. God bless you. God bless America. And happy trucking. Planetaries to come.